The knowledge of the being itself will be revealed only to consciousness that is silent, clear, and free from the activity of the suffering and agitated mind. Just as the sun cannot be seen in a densely cloudy sky, themselves cannot be seen in a mental sky that is darkened by a dense mind of thoughts. Thoughts throw a veil about the truth, and thus it cannot be evident in other states, but that of stillness. Maya who cannot be destroyed by any other act is completely destroyed by this intense activity called silence. For those who remain in the self as perfection devoid of thought, there is nothing in which one should think. What should be adhered to is only the experience of silence, because in this supreme state there is nothing to be achieved beyond itself. The only language capable of expressing all the truth is silence. The highest form of free is silence. It is also the highest teaching. Silence is the true teaching. It is the perfect teaching. The silence is of four types. The silence of speech. Silence of the eyes. Silence of the... Only the last is pure silence and is the most important. From silence came the thought. Of thought, the ego, and the ego, to the speech. Therefore, if speech is effective, the more your source should be. Silence is the truth. Silence is a blessing. Silence is peace. And therefore, silence is the being. The most valuable thing in the ocean lies at the bottom of it. The pearl is so small, something of such value and so difficult to access. Similar to being, it is like a precious pearl. But to find it, you must dive deep into the silence. Every time and deeper until it is found in. The method comes down to words. Be quiet. All that is needed to perform the being is to be quiet. What can be easier than that? There is consciousness along with quietness in the mind. This is exactly the state to be desired. The state that transcends speech and thought is meditation without mental activity. This state that transcends speech and thought is silence. The experience of silence is alone real and perfect knowledge. If you adhere to this path of silence, the medium to release, there will be no suffering of any kind. Stay quiet. Remove your thoughts. Be empty of them. Stay in the perpetual state of not thinking. Then it will consciously be self-existing. Thoughts, desires, and all qualities are alien to our true nature. If the desires were abandoned, there would be no oscillation of the mind. And when there is no oscillation of the mind, what remains is peace. Following all the thought of false goals such as wealth, desire, and righteousness. Cling to silence. The knowledge of the Supreme Being, which is Shiva, you can only interrupt the flow of thoughts, refusing to have any interest in them. All your knowledge needs to be abandoned. Only then do you become a real connoisseur. Only then do you reach perfection. The clarity. Only then will your eyes not be full of theories. Will be absolutely clear and transparent. Only then can you see. The supreme reality which is liberation is experienced only by the perfect silence. Give in the thoughts away. These thoughts are the only obstacles. They are the ones who make it difficult. Silence does not mean negation of stagnant activity or inertia. It is not a mere denial of thoughts, but something more positive than you can imagine. The silence of being is always present. As long as you run with an active mind, you can't have that. It is a supreme peace, unchanging as a rock, which supports all its activities, in fact, all movements. It is in this silence that God and the released souls are rooted. Those who discovered the great truth did it in the deep silence of being. If the noise of thoughts that rise incessantly within us does not decrease, the ineffable state of silence will not be revealed. The only way to override the obstacles of your meditation is to prohibit the mind from sheltering in external objects, introverting it into being and witnessing everything that happens there without being affected. There is no other method. Not even for a moment should deviate from being. Become aware of being conscious. Say or think, I am, and do no, not add anything. Be aware of the stillness that follows. Feel your presence, being unveiled and stripped, untouchable by youth or old age, wealth or poverty, goodness or evil, or any other attributes. The pure state of attention only for being is the very state of silence, which is devoid of anything else. Drop your thoughts and simply... 
B. Just be. Your duty is to be, and not be that or that. The method is synthesized in that. The main factor in meditation is to keep the mind active in your own search, without absorbing external impressions or thinking about other subjects. Meditation applies the brakes to the mind, the degree of freedom of unwanted thoughts, and the degree of concentration in one thought, are the measures to measure progress. Keep your mind quiet. It's enough. Dominated the mind, everything else is controlled. Subjugation of the mind is meditation. Deep meditation is eternal discourse. Silence is uninterrupted speech. It is the perennial flow of language. It is interrupted by speaking because words obstruct and this language changes. Thoughts are our enemies. Being free of thoughts, we are in the state of bliss naturally. Thoughts are like bubbles on the sea surface. All long time latent trends direct the mind out to external objects. All of these thoughts must be abandoned, and the internalized mind, uh, when all innate trends are eliminated, the real self will shine by itself. The real self is not hit by any other practice other than remaining motionless and being what we are already. Self-realization consists in ceasing thoughts, including all mental activity. Their annihilation should become our goal. Being free from them means purity. For the silencing of the mind, there is no more effective and adequate means than self-investigation. Find whom thoughts occur to. As much as you think the false exists will make it look like this, but finding where it comes from, it will soon disappear. The first and main thought that arises in mind is the primordial thought of me. It is only after the thought of the thought that innumerable other thoughts arise. In other words, only after the first personal pronoun I have emerged, the second and third, you, he, etc. And they do not subsist without the first he, since all thought can only arise after thought I. And since the mind is nothing more than a beam of thoughts, it is only through question who is the one who the mind is silent. Even when stray thoughts arise during such an investigation, do not try to complete them. On the contrary, immerse yourself in yourself asking who did such a thought occur. No matter how many thoughts may arise, if you remain alert to identify them at the same time and point to whom they occur, to me, if, then you ask who I am. The mind becomes introvert and thoughts quiet. Thus, if we perseverely persevere in the practice of self-investigation, the mind acquires increasing strength and power to dwell in its source. If the mind falls asleep, awaken it. So if it starts to wander, be quiet. If you reach the state where there is no sleep or movement of the mind, stand still in this natural real state. Meditation is to remain as your own being without moving at all from your real nature and without feeling that you are meditating. Stay aware of yourself, and everything will be known. During meditation, which is being directed to being, thoughts now die automatically. Meditation can be directed to different objects, but when directed to the true being, it means being fixed to the highest object, or rather the subject. If this way the mind becomes absorbed in the heart, the ego, or me, which is the center of the multiplicity of thoughts, you finally disappear and pure consciousness or being which subsists in all states of mind remains only resplendent. It is this state where there is no smaller trace of thought that there is our true being. This state of mere maintenance in pure being is known as the vision of wisdom. The eminent and powerful state of silence can only be achieved in the heart, reaching the state of oneself, the immovable axis, the direct experience of being. Silence is the axis of everything. This is the apex, the supreme good. The free experience of concepts of the vast emptiness of silence will arise, ending the illusion of the ego, the misleading fixation. The state of the experience of non-dual silence is just the brightness of oneself, as the empty space devoid of the false imagination that is the emergence of the wicked mind of the ego. Those who have deeply plunged into the ocean of silence and drowned will live in the summit of the supreme mountain, the expansion of consciousness. 
the glory of the state of silence in which the person merged and died in the real principle, God, who is the self without ego, asking who I am, the false first person, by itself is the nature of self-registration observance. The inner silence is self-regret, and that is to live without the meaning of the ego. The perfect silence in which the ego, the root, has been destroyed, is the true nature, which will never be overcome. Here is Taivos and you know that I am God. Here, stillness is the total surrender, without any trace of individuality. The stillness will prevail, and there will be no excitement of the mind. The agitation of the mind is the cause of desire, a sense of farmer and personality. If it is interrupted, there is serenity remain quiet, with the conviction that being shines as the whole, and as nothing, inside, outside and toad apart. All we need to do is remain silent. Subtitles by the Amara.org community.